Today, we're gonna to talk about Jester. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, so over the past probably week to two weeks, I spent a lot of time talking a lot about my investments, you know, Fundrise, Robinhood, uh, investing in crypto now and, and learning more about that space. And, and I'll make videos on that as uh, the time comes and as I feel comfortable um, sharing the information that I'm consuming. Uh, I've also talked about my real estate portfolio outside of online investing and, and like actual physical real estate that my wife and I own. I've talked about my finances and, and um, our finances as a couple and where we've come from and where we're going and where we are currently. But what I haven't talked about what I haven't talked about is Jester all that much. I, I've touched on it, and I think today is the day that we really and very quickly dive into what it is. As I've said before, Jester is my startup apparel company. So this is Jester, this is the hoodie, this is the logo. I just recently got the patent for the logo itself, so I feel a whole lot more comfortable talking about Jester on um, the internet. I, I have been for a while, uh, posting photos of different photo shoots that I have been to or have uh, put together uh, alongside my friend who is a photographer for Jester, for the apparel. And um, I will put a link to, to, to the Instagram in the uh, comment section, or not the comment section, in the description section below. So if you wanna check it out, please feel free to go over there. I will also be adding in the Jester website. So if you wanna check out the apparel, we have hoodies, we have long sleeves, we have regular t-shirts, um, things of that nature. You can check them out. Um, they're priced really, really well. And uh, I would love for some of you guys to to rock them. And if you, if you do end up rocking them, um, I will also have my Twitter. Um, like I said, the Instagram, you can always shoot a DM of you guys wearing the apparel and I'll be posting that stuff um, whenever and wherever I can. So let's go back to the beginning. What is Jester? Why did I create it? Like I said before, Jester is an apparel uh, startup. And the reason I started it was because as, a, as an individual person, I, I didn't have a, uh, I guess, fit. And I had ideas of things that I wanted to wear and things that I thought were cool. And I honestly thought that I could do the same thing. I could build something um, that represented the same thing. And so I started probably two years ago putting together ideas, thinking about different apparel concepts, thinking about different logos and what it is I want, wanted the brand to represent. And in September of 2020, um, I, I, I took that leap of faith. I had took about $5,000 out of um, my wife and I's personal uh, checking account and I started a business account. And during this process, I went to a designer and had them create the logo that you see today. And probably three or four days after I did that, I went and found myself an attorney who uh, specialized in, in uh, small businesses and, and working on patents for logos. The conversation that we had lasted probably 15 to 20 minutes and I basically told him, this is the logo that I have, I need to get a patent, what's the process? He talked me through the process, said that based off of everything that's going on in the world, it's probably gonna take upwards of a year to complete, but that he could get the process started. At this time, I did not have a website. In fact, I didn't even have any apparel. I just had an idea, I had a logo, and I had a dream. After that conversation, he made it very clear that I was gonna have to be able to showcase apparel, and I was, have, I was gonna have to be able to showcase at least a social media and then from there maybe be able to get um, the government to uh, okay the patent at that time. I said that wasn't a problem, I had an Instagram. At the time I had a Google Sheets, that's where you went and ordered the, um, the, the apparel and I would go in and I'd get an email about the Google form and, and, and who was ordering through that and I would then process whatever uh, orders that I had at the time. I wrote a check for about $1,500 and I handed it to the attorney right then and there, and I said, let's get this start. This, this process started right now. He kind of looked at me kind of <laughs> a little puzzled and was like, okay, and um, we just, we started the process. Little did I know that he was being serious when he said it would take a year, uh, but it was, he, he, he kept in contact, probably every two to three months, he would shoot me an email and just let me know and update me on what was happening with the logo, with the patent, and what the people in the government were saying. During this time, I, I, I recognized that 
that I needed a website. And so I started looking at different website names and the one that I really want is jester.com, but that's just unavailable. Uh, someone owns that and is using it. Um, I believe and then I, I tried different variations of Jester and they, they were just insanely expensive We're talking anywhere from ten thousand dollars upwards of of a hundred thousand is the cheapest that I've seen Jester.com the person who owns that I have no idea how much they're paying for that uh, or how much they paid for that. And I'm just not in a place to be able to buy that. And as it, it's true, it's sad, and maybe one day I will be able to purchase it, but I'm just not able to at, at the moment. And so I typed in jesterapparelco.com and I could get it for, I think at the time I got it for like 10 bucks. I, I, <laughs> I didn't think much of it, but I have that, uh, that, that URL and um, that's the URL that I started designing the website that I currently have. Now, I'm not a professional. Everything that I've done in terms of uh, developing the website was, was my own. It was a lot of hours spent messing around, looking at different things and um, trying to make the website um, flow in a way that was relatively smooth. And I think I've done an okay job doing that, but the goal is to obviously update that and make it a whole lot better. Uh, but with that being said, uh, that was the next step for me creating a website. I knew that having a social media was going to be a great place to start, but for me, I'm not very good at operating social medias. I'm not very good in general at operating anything. I, I am very, very much a visionary and I'm really, really good at coming up with different ideas. I'm not the best at executing on those ideas and making them come to life, mainly because I just don't have the skills or the patience to do so. And so I knew that I needed a website because I wasn't going to spend all day, every day on social media, trying to contact people, pull orders in that way. I wanted a place, a hub that I could go in, recommend, hey, if this is something that you want, you want to buy a t-shirt, you want to buy a hoodie, go to this website, check it out, and you can order through there. The, it's through, it's a Shopify website. It's really, really smooth, really, really simple. And um, honestly, I'm just really, really happy with the product. What's crazy about this whole process is as I began to finish up the website, I received an email from my attorney. And my attorney basically said that the government did not believe that the way in which I was selling apparel at the time meant that I was an actual business. Even though I had a social media, even though I had a, a form in which I was utilizing to pull in orders, they said that I was using a third party and therefore it wasn't my actual business and therefore I could not patent the logo. Probably a day or two prior to this, I had just finished the website and, and, and through a couple of emails with my attorney, he basically asked, me if I, you know, as soon as I could get a website, that would be the best option. And I, I basically wrote back and I was like, hey, that's crazy because I just finished a website. And he was like, you're kidding. And I was like, no, I'm not. And so I sent him the website. I sent him the URL. And within like, you know, an hour, he emailed me back and was like, this is perfect. And then I didn't hear from him for like four or five months. I began wondering, you know, what is going on? Why, you know, what is happening here? Uh, and and he, I, I was clueless. He basically said that the government was backed up really, really bad and that this next step was going to be the longest. He may have to make some alterations. Nothing crazy. Um, throughout this time period, I basically was billed um, that from that $1,500. It basically was just sitting in, a, in an account that he pulled money from um, whenever he needed to pay himself for the services that he was doing. Um, and then, like I said, in, about a month ago, I received an email saying that the patent was uh, good and that I was, I was, the logo was mine and, and that I own that and that no one can take that from me. Now, I fortunately haven't run into any problems with someone trying to use, utilize the logo, uh, but I'm sure in, in the days and, and months and weeks and years to come, that is probably going to happen. But I'm super stoked about um, my logo, I think it's super crisp and um, I love it. And, and I just, I'm sharing this with you guys because if you're looking to start your own business and you're looking to patent things, just be aware, it's gonna take a whole lot longer than what you think. It's gonna cost a whole lot more money than what you think. Um, but the process is going to be a great learning curve. That initial $5,000 that I had did not go very far. It got me my initial um, blanks and it got some work done, got the logo printed on certain things. Uh, but fortunately, uh, with that $5,000, I was able to bring in about three to $4,000. I don't have the exact number in my head, but uh, three to $4,000 worth of sales over the course of the year, um, which I'm, I'm in comparison to other small businesses when they first start, that's really, really good. Where I want to be and where I hope to be in the next year, that's just not okay. I, I have a long way to go and I, I 
am excited about the journey to come. That brings me to the next step. What does Jester mean? What does it represent? And this was something that I struggled with for a very long time. And fortunately, I have really, really, really good friends. Um, I have an insanely awesome, the, the best wife in the world, the most supportive wife in the world. I have incredible um, foundational uh, family members and people that just supported me through this whole process. Uh, but I spent a lot of time thinking about what Jester represented to me. Now, this wasn't a easy process. Actually, in, prior to writing down some of the values and ideas and what I wanted Jester to represent, I had a near-death experience. I was walking at night um, with headphones in, not necessarily um, thinking about anything, but just kind of taking inventory of how I was feeling that day and taking inventory of what had been going on in my life at that time. And this was um, a, about a month prior to COVID really hitting. And so this was the beginning of 2020. I was walking, I was in a dark black hoodie, and I was coming up to this intersection where there was a, a light on, and I saw this car coming down the street, and they were coming relatively fast, maybe 35, 40 miles per hour. In our neighborhoods here in Texas, the speed limit, at least in the city that I live, is 30 miles per hour. I recognized they were coming a little bit fast, uh, but I, I, I wasn't really thinking about anything. They didn't have their blinker on, and so I was like, you know what, it's safe for me to cross. I looked both ways. Um, well, actually, I just looked to my right because the left, there wasn't, it wasn't a four-way intersection it was a three-way so it was just one straight street coming through and then the street that I had to cross so it looked like a T um, I guess you'd see it like that it looked like a T <laughs> either way uh, the car was co um, coming towards me and I saw it um, didn't have their blinker on so I was like okay I'm clear to walk I take a step into the street and as I'm walking I hear I, I don't necessarily see the car but I kind of hear the car is turning um, and it's really hard to explain this because I didn't see the vehicle at all. I, I didn't, all I heard was there like a sound that sounded like the car was turning, but it didn't sound like a car was turning, if that makes sense. Um, but I knew something was off. And I, without thinking, it wasn't an instinct. I, I guess it was an instinct. It was unconscious. Uh, you know, if, if you're if you're a person of faith, it was a God thing. If you're not a person of faith, it was uh, a spiritual thing. If you're not a person of spirit, I don't know what it is. But my, I, I jumped backwards. All I did was jump backwards. And the next thing I know is I'm staring face to face with this driver um, looking through the passenger side window and where my body just was. I didn't get hit, I didn't get touched, they stopped. I just stared at them and I, uh, they kind of stared at me and then told me to walk and I was like, nah, you can go ahead. I, I, you almost just hit me with your car. This person didn't have their blinker on. I was in, the, I was in a black hoodie so they probably didn't see me to begin with. It was just a, a combination of him not doing um, what they needed to do as a driver and me not wearing the correct clothing uh, to go walking or running or working out at night. Um, but during that whole process, um, I, I, I really found uh, myself and was like, you know what, life is vulnerable, life is quick, and it could end at any moment. And I, I'd been holding on the idea of Jester, what it meant for a long time. And I was like, you know what, I, I gotta start now. And at the time I decided that the, the values um, we're going to be really simple. Number one, community. Uh, I, I want to be community driven. I want to make sure that as a business, we focus on the people that truly believe in, in Jester. Uh, now, now that's not to say I don't want to go out there and, and bring in, um, more, more, uh, customers and, and more people onto the team. Um, but I'm not going to waste time trying to, uh, give Jester and sell Jester to 8 billion people when there's 100,000 people that are diehard fans of the brand, if that makes sense. Uh, the next thing is innovation. Uh, and, and when it comes to clothing, there's not, there's not much else we can do with clothing. It's all been done. You know, in fact, it's been, there's so much that's been done. It, it's so stale in terms of what you can do with clothing that people are, are like putting holes in their clothes and, and, and like painting their clothes and, and doing crazy stuff with, with clothing, you know, making clothing out of, out of plastic and stuff. Uh, and, and so we've almost done everything you can possibly do with clothing. And so where, where can we innovate? You know, the, the goal with Jester is not to just give you apparel, but it's to give you an experience, right? Uh, the, the third is relentless pursuit of progress. And at first I had relentless pursuit of perfection. And, uh, for me, I don't, I don't, perfection isn't, isn't what you want or it, it's not obtainable. So why chase it? Progress is and making sure that as individuals we're growing and changing as um, the startup 
hopefully becomes an actual business and I start to hire people, we as a business are changing um, as fans of the product and, and as a community, we're changing for the uh, for the positive. I 100% I, I believe that it is your responsibility to leave the planet in this world in better hands than you received it, right? Um, third or fourth, excuse me, is character. Who are you? What who is Jester? What do we represent when no one's watching? What do I represent when you're not watching? What do I do on a day-to-day -day basis when there's no one around me? The fifth one is student. We always have to be learning. We always have to be learning. Um, and the thing is, is you're, you're always changing. You're either going forward or you're going backwards. You're not going to stay the same. And so keep that in mind whenever you're doing something in life. You're either going forward or you're going backward. And for me, I want to be a student of all aspects of Jester and all aspects of YouTube and all aspects of investing and all aspects of making money and all aspects of building relationships. Um, I want to be a student of those things because I want to be better at them. And I want to be able to pass that information and that knowledge on to my son when he gets here and, and however many other kids we end up having, um, as well as my friends and my family. And then the last thing is focusing on us. I know for me, I am a very competitive individual and oftentimes I look at what I'm doing and I compare myself to others and I'm like, I'm not as good as them or um, I'm never going to be as good as them. And, and rather than focusing on what I can do to make myself better, I focus on the greatness of others. And I think it's important to have people that you look up to and have people that you can take after. But if, it, if you're doing that to the point where you are no longer working on yourself or on the things that you want to build, then there's a problem there. And so for me, focusing on us is a value and it's a standard that I, I will not back down from. One of the final things was determining what our saying was, um, you know, Nike, just do it kind of thing. What was going to be Jester's go-to? And initially, uh, I had decided Jester, it's not for everyone. And <laughs> my friends are awesome. I am very, very hard-headed and I wanted it to stay the same for a very long time. But we had a very serious conversation of, hey, Oscar, this is this is going to push people away. So you either need to change it um, no, no, it wasn't either. You you need to change it. You got to find something that is more inviting and more, um, uh, I guess there's not another word, something that's more inviting, more inclusive, I guess. Uh, not necessarily to to get more people, but you want to have something that is, is, it excites people about the brand. And so I spent probably another week sitting down thinking about what the saying could actually be. And then it, it kind of hit me, Jester, empowering you to be you. And the reason I, I chose that was because uh, for me, I struggle heavily with self-doubt. I struggle a lot with um, a lack of self-confidence. Um, and I put on this facade, this this mask uh, that I'm, I'm better at things than I am or I'm, I'm greater than what I actually am. And I know that there are a lot of other people out there that struggle. Uh, I struggle with ADHD and depression and I'm on medicine and I'm working through that. I go through therapy. And uh, for me, Jester isn't just uh, apparel. It's a way of um, expressing that I am actually going through life the same as anybody else and that I have my own struggles and that I refuse to sit down and and accept the challenges that life throws at me. In fact, that through those challenges, I'm going to grow and overcome them. And that's what I want Jester to represent. I want people to be able to put on a hoodie or put on a t-shirt and step out in public and have the confidence to take on the day. Um, whereas if they weren't wearing Jester, they, 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 they cower away or they struggle or they just don't know what to do. And I, I want the community to, uh, to be the embodiment of that. I wanted to give you guys an idea of what the Jester website actually looks like. Again, this is not a professionally made website. This is something that I did on my own time um, and it, it took a lot of time and I'm, I'm happy with it, but I think it could go a whole lot further. It could be a whole lot better. Um, but I, I will show you the, this is the homepage. There's a shop, there's a blog that I was kind of working on every now and then. Maybe I'll, I'll type something up. Um, there's an about us page where you can go in and, and, and read about what Jester is um, and, and what I hope it will become. I think I could do a whole lot different, like a whole lot better with this page, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, but back to the home, the here is just a little image slideshow of, of some of the apparel that we have. Um, initially I only had hoodies, and so that's why you see a ton of hoodies. Um, but now uh, we have long sleeve t-shirts, some short sleeve t-shirts. This is part of our empowered um, t-shirt line. And then we have our origins, our origin hoodie and our origin t-shirt um, right here. Uh, $35 for a hoodie, $15 for the t uh, this t-shirt specifically, $12 for the Origins t-shirt, and then $18 for our long sleeve. It's a really simple 
uh, website. I'm really, really happy with it, but I wanted to show you guys what this website looks like. And, and, and the reason I'm showing this to you guys is because it doesn't have to be perfect. I know a lot of people don't start things because they think that their product isn't ready or their video isn't ready or their website isn't ready or whatever the case may be. This isn't perfect. This isn't the best website you'll ever find. And in fact, it's probably maybe on the, it's probably like if there were like five tiers and one is the best and five is the worst, it's probably like in between tier five and four, depending on who you talk to. And, um, but the point is, is that I've started. And so I want to talk more about gesture with you guys and, and just showcase what I'm doing, where I'm going and how it's, how it's growing over time. Um, and this is just the start. I don't know what the future holds for gesture and if it will actually ever become anything. I have, this is my second business that I've ever started. I have one other failed business that failed due to um, me not really uh, treating it the way that I should have and, and recognizing relatively quickly that it wasn't something I wanted to do for the rest of my life. And then two, um, having COVID come in, uh, kind of just finished it off. Um, and, and I took that really hard. I, I felt like a failure. and um, But I also learned a lot from, from those experiences. And this is my second business. This is something I'm really excited about. And I want to take you guys on that journey. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Uh, again, I'm going to do these updates periodically. They won't be as often as my investment ones unless something crazy happens with Jester and I just have to give it all the time um, that I need to, you know, hours and hours every single day. As of right now, I can give it a couple hours a day and um, nothing crazy is going on. Um, but if you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. Um, also, if you have any businesses or, or at least ideas that you're starting on, um, I would love to hear them. I'm, I'm curious to know what you guys are working on. It's really interesting to me. Uh, and then if you have any investments that you're doing, let me know about those as well, because I'm just curious as to what you guys are investing in. Uh, you guys know what I'm investing in. <clears throat> and as that changes, I will up, I'll update you guys um, with, with videos and such. But again, thank you so much for watching. My name is Oscar. This is Jester. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you guys in the next video.